So as most of you probably don't know, it is Tom, aka Do1991s, aka the guy he usually used to stream with. It's his birthday today, so make sure you go to his channel, PM him, go on a video, just do something and wish him a happy Kuwait Independence Day. Or no, it's Kuwait Liberation Day. Same fucking thing! But anyways, yeah, do that. But yeah, hey guys, it's Wild. We got a match here today against uh, Colin Seven. It's an OU match uh, using this one team that has the stuff from the stealing and whatever. Um, opponents got kind of a standardish sand team. I don't know. But I mean, it's like, yeah, it's a team. I don't know. But uh, main threats on his end that I'm going to be looking at right off the bat are that Latios and that Caldeo. Just because once uh, my Rotom and my Latios and my Scissor are gone, it's like. They kind of run through my team. I know that's like, yes, when half my team is gone, those two run through my team. But it's like, basically what I'm trying to say is, even even with those around, it's still hard to play around those two. So it's like, I got to make sure I, I really focus on those two. The rest of his team really doesn't threaten me that much. So it's like, those two are my main focus. Once I get those out of the way, it'll kind of be easy sailing. I mean, looking at it. So it's like, basically, wall both of those, figure something out, get them out of the way win game. That is basically my game plan at this point, but uh, leads on his end, I figured he might just want to start off with his weather, so I'm going to start off with my Scizor thing, and hey, he'll probably just, because I mean, yeah, it's both Tyranitar and uh, Ferrothorn, so I mean, it's like, maybe he just wants spikes on Pharaoh, and then he'll have rocks on Titar, so I just go with a Scizor, but he leads off with Keldeo instead, so I can't really stay in there, because there is too much of a risk of a Hydro Pump, so I'm just going to go straight to Rotom, because Special Defensive, and I know I can take it well enough. I do take it. I thought for a second he might be Specs, judging on that damage. I mean, it's like, it, it, is strong, so it's like, a, it, he could not be Specs, but I never really thought about him being anything else, just because I'm not used to really taking Hydro Pumps with Rotom from Caldeo, so I guess whatever. But I do burn on the Switch, because I knew he would just switch out, most likely thinking he is Choice. Burn the Pharaoh, so that's good, but I'm just going to switch out to Landorus. I think I just, yeah, we'll switch out to it. And then, uh, because I want to get rocks up, and he leech to me, that's fine and dandy. But here, normally I would U-turn, but with how, much, with how much damage I've been taking these past couple turns, I'm going to go straight out to Heatran to take on whatever he does. Just goes for Gyro Ball. I guess just want to get some extra damage off in case I do something else. But I'm just going to go straight for Magnum Storm right here. If he get, decides to go Tyrannosaur, i got plenty of switches for it, so I'm not really too concerned about if that comes in. So I just want to get that off to hit something. He goes into Caldeo, which does about almost have to. So it's like, that is pretty goddamn nice. So, But I know I can't stay in, so I'm going to go into Latias, knowing I can probably take any of his moves. And he goes for Secret Sword, and I can take that, so that's fine and dandy. But here, I'm just going to double switch, thinking he'd want to go to like Tyranitar or something, but he actually decides to go to Heatran instead. So it's like, well, shit. That was pretty goddamn terrible. But I know that my Landers can take a uh, fire attack. I know he's more than likely going to go for Stealth Rocks predicting the switch. But just in case he doesn't, I'm going to go to Landers just to be safe. Because I'd rather have my Scissor around than my Landers, even though Landers is pretty goddamn cool and would help a lot. But whatever, I'm just going to go for Earthquake twice, take out the Ferrothorn. So that's all cool and stuff. But now he's going to bring in the Latios. Uh, can't stay in there. Obviously, he's gonna go for Draco or Surf. I really don't know if I need my Rotom that much, because I'm pretty sure I can still play around as Caldeo well enough, so basically bringing in Rotom kind of half as fodder, just to see what's going on. He does go for Surf, and it does look like he's locked in, because he didn't take any Life Orb or Leftovers, and he didn't switch up moves, so it's like, uh, yeah, he's not, at least not Expert Belt, so he's probably Scarf or Spec, probably Specs, uh, but I don't know, whatever. I just burn him and then, uh, proceed to go for pain split because then he might want to switch out since he was locked into surf but now I got a decent amount of health back at the very least so not the hugest thing in the world but uh yeah gonna volt switch on that turn because I figured he would switch out goes into the heatran I'm like okay I can go to landers and scare him out and I'm just gonna go straight for earthquake because I really don't feel like bullshitting with this heatran and if he goes back into Latios I can just fodder off Rotom which I don't really consider that important anymore I mean it basically took down the Latios and if he's gonna recover good for him but Basically, I'm just going to go to Rotom as fodder. He does go straight for Draco, but he is going to die from burn. So, I mean, it's like, I took out that huge threat. Now, I'm just going to deal with another huge threat being the Caldeo. But since I still do have Latias, it shouldn't be that much trouble. Plus, with all the hazards, well, rocks. I mean, it's like, eventually, he'll be whittled down to a point where I can take him down with a bullet punch. So, yeah, but I go into Latias, and uh, he just goes for Hidden Power, predicting that. Or just, hell, he can Hidden Power Landers. But turns out he is Scarf because he does that speed me. But I figure I can live another one, so I just go for Roost, and I do live it, so that's cool. 
But I'm just getting here for another roost just in case he goes for another one. Plus, I'd like to get back up to full if I can. So, that is kind of the game plan there. So, I do roost. He does go to Heatran, and, uh, you know, I'm back at full. But now I'm like, okay, I am fearing a Toxic. Because if he's going to bring it in like that, it's more than. It, it just seems like it's likely he might have Toxic. So, I'm just going to go to my own Heatran. And he actually just goes straight for Lava Pool, which I didn't really understand. But, okay. I mean, it's like if you're going to bring it in like that, I guess he just suspected I wouldn't have this Surf. But there, I thought he would switch out, so I go for the Magma Storm, or did I go for will o -Wisp? I think it went for Magma Storm, but I can't remember. The point is, he stayed in and went for Roar, because I guess he suspected me to switch like that, so he's like, whatever. But, uh, he roars me into Tracheon, that's just fine, because all of his teams pre hit pretty decently hard by a close combat, so that's all cool. Landers comes in, though, takes it pretty alright. I mean, it still takes a huge chunk, but not enough to warrant me staying in and go for going for another one. He goes for Rock Polish, though, so on my Switch a lot, I guess I'm like, well, I can take one hit, so I mean, it's not the end of the world right now. At least I know now I do have to keep my Scizor alive even more, but uh, just go for the Dragon Pulse, because I wanted to try and hit that Landers in the Bullet Punch range, but he goes into Tyranitar. I didn't really care if he Pursuit Trapped me or not, because I didn't see any Life Orb left, well, Leftovers, rather, so I figured he's just going to be Choice, because most Tyranitars don't run Life Orb, so I'm like, fuck it, if he Pursuits me, it's not like I was going to do too much damage anyways, so, uh, I was just like, fuck it, whatever, but I can do with Caldeo somehow, and uh, yeah, I just go into Landers, because I figured it would scare him out, and it did, so I got to U-turn out into Scizor, and it looks like he's in range of Bullet Punch Killing, so I just go straight for it, and it does, so that is awesome, Caldeo's out of the way, and I should have close to win condition right here, yup, I just said win condition, but he does go into Heatran, I do not want to risk anything, so I'm just going to go to Land- or not Landris. this is a Heatran, why did- why did I think Landris? What- what's wrong with me? But no, okay, so, I'm just going to go straight for Earth Power with my Heatran as he goes at the Landris, because I just wanted to straight up try and kill that Heatran, because that obviously impedes my Scizor a lot, so that's just what I do. But, I just leave him Heatran there, because I didn't want to bullshit around with this Landris, and if I could potentially kill it, that's cool. I know he has no forms of recovery, so, I mean, he was in Bullet Punch range anyway, so, yeah. But I go back into Scizor, just go for the safe bullet punch, because that's the safest thing for me to do. Even if he goes into Heatran, I can uh, fodder off Landers at this point, which is what I kind of do. But, I, I mean, I know I could live a, a, a uh, fucking Lava Plume, but he does get the burn, not really too caring, because I kind of just went out to fodder this thing anyways, because now he dies from Earthquake, so uh, it's gone. I don't have to deal with it anymore. So, that is pretty goddamn cool. But, if he went to Landers anyways, I mean, he was in bullet punch kill range, he was probably almost in close combat kill range too, but uh, just gonna go for U-turn because I was like, whatever, I'm gonna die. But he actually just goes to Earth Power just in case I wanted to hard switch, but I didn't. So I mean, really, all it did was make it a 3-0 instead of a 2-0 because I just get to go into Tracheon right here, and all he has left is the Tyranitar, which I can easily take note with close combat, which also occurred earlier with the Dragon Pulse did not matter because obviously Tracheon. Plus, I would have had a uh, Scizor in the wings anyways to finish him off a Bullet Punch. So that I means like if it really came down to that, it would be like, whatever, but that is it for this match today, so, uh, yeah, GG Colin, fun shit, um, remember guys, go wish Tom a happy, uh, Kuwait, uh, Liberation Day, because, you know, it's his birthday, so that's what you do, but, uh, yeah, I'll post this link down below so you can get to him easier, but yeah, that'll be it for today, so, uh, hope you guys enjoyed such, such, blah, rate, comment, sub, and later guys.